Yes, this is Scott Crawford, and what we're doing here is I had to make some repairs to my cross, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you how you can make one of these crosses. Basically, you go to like a place like Home Depot and you buy a pre-painted uh, piece of wood and then you put a couple of hinges on it like this and just screw them in. Hopefully you do a better job so that it matches up a little closer, but that's good enough. Then what we're going to do is take this cross and we're going to measure down the proper distance here. The bottom of the cross needs to be at least six foot, six inches above the pavement so that people can walk under it without hitting their heads. So we're going to drill a couple of holes here and uh, I'm going to turn the camera off while we do that, but we just simply measure down from here to here uh, a certain length. Actually what you do is measure up from the ground to where the bottom, from the ground to the bottom of, of this is six foot six inches off the ground. So you need an eight foot or a ten foot piece of one by eight. Um, so we'll turn the camera off now and then I'll talk a little later. Now what we're doing here is we're measuring for where to drill the holes and we are measuring halfway across this and halfway across that and then making a line so they would match that up and then this line here is six and a half feet from the bottom then that will give us a position where exactly where to drill these holes. So what we're doing now is we're measuring six foot inch, six inches up from the bottom and we are going to place our cross beam on there and mark the holes that we need to drill. The next step is to you go and buy these pieces of hardware, these screws, which are a quarter inch by 20 threads to an inch, and these are number 10 screws, 20 threads to an inch, and you have, it comes with these kind of nuts in there, but you buy an extra package of wing nuts for each size of screw. Then we're going to, I'll show you what these, what we do with these in a minute, but right now we're going to drill these holes with a quarter inch drill bit. And that will let these quarter by 20 bolts go through. Then we will drill a, a, with this other drill bit here which is let me see that is a three sixteenths bit this is a three sixteenths bit and uh, so we'll drill the other holes with that now I'm only using two of these quarter by twenty bolts here but I always have extras in case you lose one out in the field. So you put the bolts in there, and then on the other side, you will put the wing nuts, which makes it easy to take to uh, bolt and unbolt that in the field. Next, you put this on here and draw your holes exactly where you want to drill them for the pieces that keep the cross from folding up on you when you stand up. And we will use, as I said, a uh, this is 3 sixteenths drill bit. Bye. 
By the way, that piece, that cross piece, is four foot wide by eight inches. I mean, uh, eight inches wide by four foot long. And then you can put lettering, as you'll see, you can paint the lettering on, or I have some actual stick-on lettering. When you use this type of a board that's already pre-painted, you can use stick-on letters, and that makes it easier to make the whole cross. Now then, we hook, we lay these on here, and we put the screws in the holes. On the other side, we will put wing nuts to secure those. This is what it looks like on the back side, and you have that secured. So those two pieces of metal keep it from folding up when you stand it up. We'll do the same thing with the cross member up here. When we are finished with the cross, this is what we have. And as you can see, See if I can demonstrate this. I am almost six foot, and uh, my head will go under that in case somebody walks under it. So this cross is secured. Now we're going to put some lettering on, and uh, I'll show you that in a moment. Now you see what I did. I used this stick-on lettering here that you can buy in a package. This particular kind is for boats. So it's highly waterproof. So it's going to be live for Jesus. But I think I'm going to put a four in black right there just to make it a little bit clearer for people. So when we finish, this is what we've got. You can put other lettering all the way down the cross if you want. Or just you can put things on the back. I have sometimes put... Uh, something on the back so whatever that you come up with anyway you have an eight foot cross with a cross par that is uh, the bottom is six foot five above the ground and that's how you build a cross and once you have built this cross you can fold that up it's only four foot wide and put it in the trunk of your car and put all of your parts here in a Ziploc bag, all of your extra screws and the screws for that, and you can put this whole thing together within uh, three or four minutes.